to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. So there's no seal here, nothing great. So this is the kind of grill you get that you have to add mods to. But I'm gonna try to grill in it anyways and see what it's like. This is turning out to be a very expensive steak from this butcher box place, so it better be good. So here's my task list for the day. Put together this adult Lego set and then clean that trash. And then, of course, I'm just putting it right there for uh, our contractor to come get later. But it's uh, very heavy, and it's a lot of it. And a lot of that's concrete underneath there. Fun thing is, I may actually clean around the house, too. There, it's basically all around the house, like the entire per like perimeter. And then we'd eat, and I feel like I have a home. And that's why I got the grill, because uh, I can actually have space out here now for this thing. I do have to do a few things, like seal it with some high temp sealant and I saw a couple other mods that some guy did and uh, I'll be able to make steaks for that one. Hey. And chicken and... Yeah, watch out, there's no railing. Oh, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Welcome, fall. Go yeah. away, summer. Welcome. Please don't fall. Yeah, because <laughs> there's, no there's no railing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, comma, fall. <laughs> Welcome, yeah. <laughs> It's it's a good looking grill, and it comes with a serial number. That it, must mean it's legit. Yeah, and it's thicker than the other one I was looking at, but it's not like. Either way, it's it's, it's a starter grill. It's a good starter grill. Yeah, this is a great starter grill. Uh, apparently, leaks smoke like a whatever, but um, I'll fix it. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, yeah. She's trying to throw it at you and she keeps hitting her head. Start doing that at the gym. <laughs> it's on my lips. <laughs> that was not good. I should have cut that one. <laughs> Welcome to today's video. Hey guys. Hey. I feel like that was such a. I don't know. I don't know how to start have, videos anymore. We have meat. Oh wait, I gotta go. He was pulling me. <laughs> All right, so. Last we left off on Monday, if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. But we've got our first uh, little butcher box cook going on. This is the, what is this? That's steak. Yeah, but it's like a certain cut sirloin. It's a sirloin. Okay, my so eyes twitching. The fatty back um, on it. Yeah. Me. Yeah, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's not super fatty, but it's, uh, so it's lean ish. Right? Beef strip sirloin steak. Yeah, there you go. So that's the one with the, uh, it, it has this nice strip of fat all down the back of it. Uh, you can render that down pretty nicely. Uh, I'm just basically doing a quick sear. Um, I coated it with two different types of seasoning, one for her, one for me. Mine's a bit spicier, hers has a bit of paprika, gives a little bit of smokiness to it, without actually using the smoker, which I did buy and put together. So that's sitting out there waiting for me to use it like a little lonely, uh, I don't know, hunk of middle. But uh, what we're doing today Eva, is... Eva, Eva, don't stick the whisk in the ghost. That's 
That's a sentence that I've never, I don't think I will ever say again in my life. Please don't stick that whisk in the ghost. You'll say it again. <laughs> Just wait. Just wait. And then she's gnawing on it. And then what I'm doing is I'm searing it in the pan so that some fat will render out right there. Um, I'm actually going to use that for myself, cooking the green beans. I'm going to try, what is it, steam the green beans above the potatoes. I've never done that before, but I'm also trying to be resourceful, lazy. We have one pan. I'm trying to be lazy. We have two pans. Oh. Uh, a big one, and I don't really want to use it. Um, yeah, so I'm doing uh, those basically those little gold potatoes. I forgot the exact name for them again. I just don't care about names. So I'm gonna cook hers very uh, simplistic. No fat, no sour cream, no butter. No. I'm gonna put some butter Additives. into the rendered fat and then throw some garlic and a little bit of salt and then cook my uh, green beans and probably throw some potatoes in there too, because why not? And then throw those on a plate. I'm going to then put the steak in an oven because again, I don't have a grill. And I just want to bring it to temp, and I don't feel like doing it in a pan, and I want to bring it to 145 for probably both of us. And if you, so if you're going by USDA, this is a lot of instructions. Yeah, why not? It's a cooking video, right? If you're going by USDA, you want it at 145. If you want to eat it medium rare, it's like 135, and you let it rest for about five, 10 minutes. USDA says 145 plus resting. Crazy, but I, I want her to eat the whole thing and. Sometimes it's a little too pink in the middle. So I'm just gonna do both steaks evenly. Uh, I'm just gonna throw it in this guy and then put it in our little nice tiny KitchenAid, which doesn't preheat. Ideally you want to preheat to about, uh, well, not even that, that hot, but either way, look that stuff up online. I'm just gonna throw it in there. Ours cooks different from, I'm sure your oven. So uh, it might cook very similar to an RV. Oh uh, yeah. Cause they're both tiny. So that's, uh, it, that's it cooks more evenly than the RV oven. I yeah. do know that. Our toaster oven does. Yeah, I always had to rotate in the RV oven. Um, those little tiny, what are they, domestic? I can't remember what they're called. Get you a good meat thermometer if you don't have one, but steak is a simple thing to make and it's very decent. Let's get to cooking. Why? Because. Hey, hey, you know, get back out of there. So as you can see, the uh, the meat's actually, it's, it's very good meat. We had to go from frozen to defrosted, uh, semi-quick. So what we did is, um, well, after, after we did that, it kind of turned a little dark. The things that you're looking for, I mean, say if you're going by this big black book, perfectly named meat. meat. <laughs> so if you're going by something like this, um, basically all you're looking for, there's a couple signs. You just don't want to have any kind of smell to your, your meat, right? It should be odorless. And so, look at that. <laughs> there she goes, you forgot your sword. So, um, this one's already turning back red a little bit. But yeah, so they come out a little darker if you defrost it that way. Um, so usually they're bright red looking like you see in the store, but even at the store, if you buy it later in the day, it looks the same. So that's the reason for it being a little bit darker. This is our great uh, cuts of meat. Uh, I'm just going to throw it in here right now and we'll get to cooking. So, uh, cooked the steaks, or cooked, or seared the steaks in less butter than normal. So they come out kind of, um, kind of dark, like, like they look kind of burnt a little bit. A lot of times you can put a little extra salt right when you're searing it, and it gives it a nice little crust at a high temperature uh, with the sear, which you don't ideally want to do with a uh, enameled pan of any kind or a coated pan. And so you really you want like a cast iron. Um, so I cannot wait till I get the grill going and then I can do separate pans for you know mine and hers. Right now I am doing the potatoes and the green beans all at one time. They take about 15 minutes, uh, roughly. 15, maybe up to 20 minutes uh, to get them how you like. I put the whole potato in, sometimes you can dice them, and they cook a bit quicker, but I like the effect that it gives with the whole potato, and then if you have some extra fat that you want to heat up, it's really actually good if you pour fat over uh, your potatoes, but that's whenever you get into like the southern style of cooking. You literally put fat on everything. You can even get one of those blow, blow torches and heat up fat and it goes actually drips down on the potatoes. That is so good, I promise. But instead I'm just gonna put butter on everything, all Paula Deen style. So that's gonna go on the green beans. Green beans are gonna go into here with some more oil uh, to kind of, uh, what is it, not degrease. 
You know what I'm saying. Uh, Deglaze the pan a bit, bring a little bit of the meat flavor into the green beans, kind of pulls the entire meal together a little bit. Beyond that, uh, just make a little bit of garlic. The steaks are in our little tiny oven. So tiny. Where our oven will be eventually. The meal is almost ready, and so I'm just gonna finish things up a bit. Uh, Eva and Blair, possibly, are both getting a bath. Uh, more so just because how much Eva splashes and plays. She loves baths now. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna finish things up, and then we'll show you the final product here pretty soon. So all in all, the steaks turned out beautifully. Matt has gotten really good at cooking steaks and you have to keep in mind, uh, we were vegan for several years. So it's been interesting getting back into cooking all of these things after taking so many years off. We kind of had to relearn how to cook anything animal based, but He's gotten really, really good at cooking the steaks, so I let him cover that. I did make some slow cooker chicken this week too with the chicken thighs that we got, and I'll show that in the next video. It's just, it's really, really simple, but I love doing uh, chicken and pork in the slow cooker, so I kind of handle that side of the meats, and then he does the beef. So we actually got even more meat this week <laughs> from Butcher Box. Like, we are set for Thanksgiving. Um, there is, we've got some bacon here. This is applewood smoked. And then we've got some more steaks back here. we got some more, I think we got some more chicken. So we're pretty well set in the protein department, which is excellent because it makes things so easy for us. For the week, we, we typically batch cook protein sources. So. I will do a bunch of slow cooker chicken and keep that in the fridge in containers such as this right here and then we've got some ground beef here and then what I'll do throughout the week is I just measure out portions from those containers and then add it to my rice or whatever I'm having my tacos for lunch. So it makes it super simple but we always have protein sources ready in the fridge because otherwise I don't want to get behind on my protein intake for the day. And it just makes things simple, more cost effective. We don't have to eat out as much. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this cooking video. If you did, please take a second, hit that thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below. It does let us know that you're enjoying the videos. But thank you for watching. I'm so excited about Halloween. We're gonna to go to my parents uh, up in North Austin. We're gonna go trick or treating with Eva. She had a blast last year. And this year she knows more so what's going on. Of course, she she's two and a half. She doesn't know what specifically like trick-or-treating is, but she's seen it in cartoons and she says Halloween and she loves the decorations. She recognizes things as Halloween decorations. So I'm really excited to go and she's gonna um, be trick-or-treating with all of her cousins. Um, and we also have a another cousin coming into the family that is due on Halloween so we'll see if she comes into the family on Halloween obviously they're not going to be with us they're in Houston but that'll be pretty exciting um, we're all gonna be hanging out waiting for the arrival of the newest cousin um, the newest girl to the family so lots of exciting things happening um, lots of family time which I'm really really looking forward to so if you did enjoy this video, make sure and hit that thumbs up. Check out the uh, link below. Thanks again to ButcherBox for sending us all these wonderful things for sponsoring these videos. And you can click on the link to get your free turkey before November 16th. It will be here for Thanksgiving. The, using our link directly supports us, so we appreciate that so very much. And we appreciate you guys. Hope you have fun out there, and we will see you in Monday's video. Bye. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show.
the one to build your